What is going on, guys? Welcome back to The Journeyman in Football Manager 2022. Leave a thumbs up if you've been enjoying the series and want to be seeing some more. That's greatly appreciated. So uh, we've gone to play a few more games off camera uh, through January. So we're going to give a bit of update like transfer wise. There's been a little bit of action. We haven't brought in anyone, but yeah, we'll get into the details. Then I thought we'd round up the month with the game against Monaco, which is, you know, <laughs> that's like relatively a, a pretty big game for us. Uh, also an update, you know, like a week, two weeks ago, you know, I, I was saying like I'm, I wasn't feeling my 100% best. Uh, I'm off medication now, so I'm still in recovery. You're like, yeah, you know, I have a medication, but yeah, that was only for a set period of time. Now it's just like um, uh, natural recovery, you could say, but um, yeah, overall doing all right, but yeah, still progressing towards 100%. Uh, so you understand, and we're just going to yeah play the single game, we'll play the Monaco game uh, today, uh, just finish off yeah finish off the month of January, and as I said, we'll give some transfer updates uh, as we are in January, some important information going on, but uh, as you can see, it's I've been impressed, like I expected to go up the table, but I'm, I'm very surprised or impressed, it's a mix of both of those things. Like, I didn't expect it to be this, I don't want to say easy, easy is not the right word, I just, I didn't expect to uh, be improving the team uh, this much in comparison to when we took over, uh, they started really poorly to the season, um, got rid of their manager, uh, we came in, and yeah, uh, in this time, not many dropped points, which is magnificent. Here we go. We sold a few players here. We're in a bit of a financial situation right now. Uh, as you can see, the negative and even the board, they pumped uh, four million into into the balance. So as you can see, there's, it's, it's, there needs to be a bit of recovery just yeah over this period. There does seem to be a noticeable struggle with money. So that's another, yeah, another challenge we have to take on uh, for sure. But yeah, for the time being, I think the most notable one is our goalkeeper, um, a former goalkeeper now, uh, 245k, or he was our f like m most senior keeper, but you know we've been opting uh, with Oscar, Oscar Gregg. I was actually in two minds here. We didn't even get a replacement, but we'll go uh, we'll go into that. I was thinking about spending the money on, you know how you can get an older goalkeeper who's still like a really experienced goalkeeper? Uh, but they're cheap because of their age. I almost did, but I, I just like, I'm like, hold up, we're playing this well. Oh, it's almost like not needed. We'll, we're getting our expectations this season. So uh, if we need to think about getting a more senior goalkeeper for next season, we'll see our budget and see if we can facilitate that uh, with yeah, other moves we find that are you know, you know, important for us. Uh, it just really depends uh, when we get to that point in time. So uh, a few of younger guys, again, I always target, if I have, especially we have, you you would notice that we have a lot of high potential players. So those three and a half types, especially their current abilities, this guy's current ability didn't look the worst, but at the same time, I knew, yep, yeah, uh, we're probably going to have better players ahead of him if we can take some profit now or just take some money now. Uh, yeah, go on to sell. Uh, Anthony Blanchett there, right back, too many lower, like his current ability he would have to grow, grow a lot. So I know we're not getting, we're not getting huge fees for these players. Uh, and then Eric, you know, yeah, the situation with him, uh, we take a bit of money. We, I don't know if we, yeah, I don't know if we will make a move. I think we're pretty solid, but you could say he was in the first team, like probably back up if we, in case we got injuries. Uh, then Muhammad Gross, we'll take a look at him, 400k, and then some installments. Once more, little bit of potential, but too many weaker attributes i'd say and he wouldn't become first team so take some money now uh, that's definitely the logic we uh, we've gone with and who else yeah as you can see uh runa runa hort he he was definitely a bit below um yeah he's on three star potentials so yeah 21 years old i always say when you're in your early 20s you got to actually be breaking through to the first team and he was still way off that uh, there's some like 18, 19 year olds who's uh, probably looking better than him and not starting in the team just yet. So those are really the mood. They were a bunch. If you, yeah, you bunch those together um, and that was alone. 
this one this one was alone, mind you. Yeah, we got to we got to make sure we give you all the correct information. Uh, we didn't sell him, but it it's kind of the same point. <laughs> it's kind of the same point. That's why I said he looked a little bit better. So that's why I opted with a loan for him. Uh, played a lot for Senegal, like under 20s. So there might be a little bit of hope left, but if someone comes with a transfer offer in the future, may consider it. So uh, yeah, there, you take that out of the equation then. And we get transfer fees for these guys there. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice little bit of money and where that's going to be a focus for us. Like, yeah, it's one thing for us to manage. And you know, we are in European places. It's uh, it's so, like perfectly, we're sizing this up. Leon, they drop points. They uh, don't beat uh, Stade Rene there. And we are, we are below them. It's not us ability to take over them, but it's getting closer. Like that number six, like... Yeah, the, this spot is going to be up for grabs. It's not ours yet for sure. But if we keep up this form, the, this winning form we're on, and we, uh, who knows, we can challenge for a Champions League spot, top three. Like, the the point increase we've had, like, you're like, oh, you're still a bit off it. But the points increase we've had since we've taken over, keep up this form, <laughs> that could even be a possibility. I'm, yeah, you might be the same. I'm actually shocked we have uh, done this well and, yeah, turned around this quickly because we kind of have done this with each team. But here, we've done it, um, we've kind of sped up the process. So, yeah, uh, all, all is going well at the moment. I think something as well, it's the fact we've found a consistent team for the most part. We haven't rotated a whole lot. We played Frostler in these last few just to get him some fitness, really, because he was lacking that. Uh, so yeah, Sedilia will come back in, and yeah, I wanted to tell you, this other goalkeeper we had in, his potential was actually, it was four, maybe four and a half when we had him in the reserve team, but then he may have been, you know, his rating may have been matched up, and yeah, compared to the others in the reserve team, so now to the first team, his potential is probably, you know, probably a little bit lower uh, than Greg, so it, he's not someone you want to use in the league, but yeah, just yeah, a backup goalkeeper in the first team. Absolutely the just-in-case situation. We brought in Laza in the previous game, but I think Singh, Mitch, it's, it's a tricky game. Like, it's Monaco. Monaco is the focus of this episode. Yeah, it's huge. Huge game today. Like, we pointed out the points, the 42 points, like both second and third are on them. So, it's it's really important. It's really important for our current situation, like I said, to get closer to Lyon, but then also take points of these guys here. Um, yeah, would be would be really nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's always, it's always easy to put into words, but actually uh, put into action. Uh, once more, I find Farris has been doing... A bit more. I mean, he scored fewer goals and got a better average rating uh, than Alice. So that that says that speaks volumes as well. Actually, with him, we need to make sure. Yeah, make sure we're using inside forward uh, in that duty uh, in that role for him. And Diakabi, you know, like he's been a big part. His determination's going up, which is absolutely excellent. If we just go over the form, like look at this man. Look at this. I'd say he's, well, if you go off the stats, he scored goals. Look at all these games in a row, apart from that one, but then that one he got a double of assists, <laughs> two assists. So it's almost like, I know, you can't say he scored in consecutive games, like, but like that game anyway was a great one. Like he's been, like every game recently, at least consistently been on amazing form, being involved in goals. So uh, let's... Let's just keep it up. Let's let's not think we're gonna change much. Oh yeah, Pereira, uh, Pereira. Let's bring back in yeah, Colum. Uh, left him out. Uh, you know, just part of rotation. He's still getting good development. He's looking good. He's gonna be such a smart player. His de decision making, uh, start like that's a, a really a standout attribute for him. But uh, I think we'll go in like this. Um, yeah, it looks like we have the next best like players on the bench are pretty comfortable. Uh, yeah, like tra we have transfer range as well. Um, yeah, Bakwa uh, will be letting him go. I say let him, yeah, they offered him a contract. I just, um, that's what I mean by this team where we're at. Like, we've got improvements. We've got improvements to make to the side. So you can tell. 
you can tell someone like him. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to let him go. Uh, our budget right now, we we haven't approached like players running out of their contracts simply because yeah, I, I don't think we can do that. Uh, we could probably sign one maybe, but I think let's wait till the end of the season and then weigh up what our budget is looking like. If we get money coming in, you know, at the end of the season, we just know what we have to work with. Uh, so media has been giving us praise. We'll just go in like that. But yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd say I'd love to, you know, just keep the form going. But this is a, a real tricky game. It's at home. I fancy ourselves against majority of teams at home. But yeah, look at that. Ooh, and they're not going to be easy to break down. They've got Bailey up top. You know, he's got a bit of pace. And yeah, they're not going to be easy uh, to prevent here themselves. But it's going to be interesting how they approach how they approach us because you know we like to try and keep that possession and we look at our opponents and I'm like oh Chiumeni and Artur like they've got no nah, like Rafinha, Golovan, McAllister as well they've got they've got like it's not a surprising thing that Monaco has good players but yeah it's it's going to be an intriguing one it's well oh we almost got that, and yeah, McAllister. Whew. They've got like all their like their midfielders and attackers. They're all like they're skillful. Like they've got skillful players. Rafinha. Like as confident as we are about our own team, like about our players, they're good. Yeah, they've got they've got a lot of dangers in the side in their side. So. We're maybe not dominating possession as we would usual. So, yeah, maybe not the most exciting game we'll see today, but that would be, like, I think even that would say a lot, even if it's away for Monaco. If we're, like, I think that's a sign. Like, that was good. It's not always about creating all the chances in the world. You've got to consider your, yeah, opponents as well. A shooting, yeah, well, yeah, that's true. We haven't seen much of it, to be fair. Uh, but generally, yeah, you would see a bit more in the second half, especially if we yeah want to uh, hide and things up there, light and things up. We'll go yeah more expressive, a standard change that we do make. Highlight early in this half. As I said, expect more chances. Expect more chances in this one, without a doubt. The game will open up. Players will get more tired. You know that that, that you know that's standard standard behaviors <laughs> in games. But okay, like yeah, for me equally, if you could prevent a team like with the players of Monaco, you know, I sounded scared of their players, didn't I? With all the talent they have, um, that they're, I said they're just yeah really skillful. Oh, talk about real. Okay, the game interrupted there. He put it. It put him off. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on. But we're almost now. We say we're at this point. We consider making a not well a substitution. When you look, mm, what's Faris done? Not a lot. But then Victor, yeah, maybe take him off, and then we can bring on Lauza. And I want to put Sing in that position. Yeah, I'll put Sing there. And I think it will be a singular change. <laughs> That's perfect. So, yeah. If it doesn't... Oh, like, now now you feel it in a way. It's like, okay, we've actually been decent today. Maybe try and get some crosses in. Uh, yeah, take a play at a defense. Just so we're... But we'll go through the middle as well. Uh, and a high lot. You're like... You're risking it and get stuck in here as well, because you're like, your players have, you know, they've they've played to what we've wanted. Like, yeah, we we have like when you've had that many shots off target, and okay, we'll try work ball into a box. I think, yeah, well, I mean, no, that's what we had. That's what we had. So you can't have that and cross. Yeah, so that's, that's a bit tricky. Because what I would say, okay, we've got a corner. We've been slightly the better team. But have we been to the level where we deserve to be winning the game? I'm not sure. 
Come on, Faris. Bang. Bang, we mean business. We mean business, man. Put on the suits, because we mean business today. So this ch I, We just managed to create, like, we had a chance we missed that was similar to that. We create so many chances in that style, and it's just deadly. And I've said it. I've said it. We, if we were using a striker or two striker formation, we'd be going like with Faris and Diakabi, two strikers. Faris is that quality. It just works really, really well like this. And we are working well. So, hey, maybe the changes I made, yeah, that did work. We look at fresher legs, an inexperienced column. Let's bring on, I'll go, Pereira's still youngish, so I'm going to bring on Cortez just because he's, yeah, a little bit older. And, yeah, we're going to see. Oh, it's, it's a tricky one now. How about we bring Alice on this side? We bring on Alice. He's, you know, he's weak on that left side, so he's probably not the type you want cutting in. If we go over Farris, oh, he's strong on both feet. So there we go. We could just give that a, a good old switcheroo. And, uh, yeah, he can be uh, pretty solid on, on the opposing side. Something else good about Farris as well. So... Like we're doing, we're doing this to Monaco, and what I say doing this is like saying saying not much because I want to wait to the end of the game. Oh wait, wait, yes, yeah, yes, praise the boys. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do that. Now, now play it out and keep this clean sheet like we've deserved for the whole day. You see, the thing is, you don't always see that. You don't always see good defending as highlights. Even if you were to play on extended highlights, you'd maybe just... But that they haven't created so many chances. So when you see a game play out like that, y you've defended well. When the opponent hasn't got a lot of good chances, yeah, they've just held up, made their tackles. You more so look into uh, your, own, your own stats in terms of the tackles won, and you could look into individuals. If we go into player statistics as well... Uh, you can take, yeah, just take your individual looks at, yeah, there's so many individual numbers there, but you can def most definitely see that. Our key passes, what? How about that? He's, man, Valentin is a star. Like, what can we say? There's just so much. There's so much. Like, it was a team performance. Like, it wasn't our best attacking performance, but our opponents got to be considered as well. Monaco a team that we got to say is better than us. So we weren't going to have one of our, like a three nil, or like a three, one, four, one type result, but yeah, we created enough. I'd I, I say, you look at that. Yeah. In the end, that, that might say it, it looks like a one nil win, but our def <laughs> immaculate, immaculate defending just by holding up there and brilliant. Like you, you just, what more can you say? We're playing like, a unit, like an experienced unit, and I, I'm, I'm really liking what we're seeing when we can. Add, like I've been saying, there's improvements in the team. I've seen guys that are performing, and I'm like, hold up, his attributes, yeah, they look okay, but nothing crazy. Like Pablo Martinez, like the midfield, like Singh and Lauza, he didn't have the greatest game, but like even he didn't even get a, a six. He got a six point nine with them key passes, man. Yeah, I could analyze the stats all day, but even Dear Carby, like he, like don't forget he's young. You can't expect him to, like he's been smashing in goals. And this has been, honestly, his weakest performance in recent games, which we pointed out. Yeah, he didn't really get too involved. But it's a tough opponent. And yeah, we got three points. And I'm happy we did. Because uh, it really sums up our recent form, and you got to see that today. But maybe to a different extent, it's more though the fact, more so the fact we've played well, uh, so that results into a Monaco performance, who is yeah, what a team fighting for the title, and we prevented them in their attack, and they would have come out and tried to attack us for sure, like they would have want to win this game from if you think about their mentality inside of things. So yeah, I think it, well, that was a professional game here today. Yeah, very happy with that performance and just got to praise them how we came out after half time. So, you know, we didn't make major changes, just individual to get that winner. And yeah, we went and got that.
And as we touched on, we did no overtaking, but we did some stealing of points. So we got catching up to Leon, taking points of Monaco, and of course, we're still a fair bit off them. But I do, if we maintain this form, we're moving up into a Champions League position. Like I'm just saying, a, ma- a matter of fact, if that is the case, if we keep on winning, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna push up, and obviously these teams might drop points less often. So there's that. Oh, we'll be fighting uh, very much to the very end to the, of the season, though. Uh, we'll be we'll be going right for it. So uh, it speaks volumes of where we could be, as I said, when we bring in the cavalry and have a team like right now, our eleven. I'm not. I'm not convinced with this 11. This is not our final 11 where, yeah, this is the team to take us to the glory. But oh, considering the quality of it to con- to see how we're doing is is very good. And it just, I think it's overs. <laughs> it's overs to what um, they are. But you got to give, you always got to give your players credit. And FM attributes are important, but it's uh, still deeper than that as well. So there's so many things, how your players connect. If you've got like, really good connections between your players that can step up uh, and elevate your level of football, there's there's a lot of those intricate uh, individual details. But yeah, another win, and we move on from. It was, a, as I said, important game against a real tough opponent uh, to show how we've been performing recently. Uh, some other results there as well. So we want to, yeah, it's not just us trying to go up, but... Getting some breathing space, Marseille, they, they did win their game, but we have four points. Four points clear. <laughs> Say four points clear. It's when you're when it's that four, it's a it's an extra game. It's like an extra win. It's 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 good. To, yeah, it's a really good position to be in. And considering yeah, like I don't think you can see us like going on a run of dropping points so yeah we can pick up a a loss or a draw but i don't think you're seeing us like this is this is great form right now it could like we we have psg what once more we've got marseille in there leon so yeah there's chances of picking up a few losses but i don't think we're gonna see like consecutive games because they're not in a row i feel again outside i say outside of that top four or top six uh like we could win the rest of the games pick up points there but at the same time uh, we just beat Monaco at home, so uh, that we can show we can do it against uh, a good opponent. Uh, definitely PSG, I think, provide a different challenge, though. They're just a bit... But Monaco, they had some... As I said, I was wary. I was scared of their midfielders and forwards. I literally said it. like They had great... They're in some individual talent, uh, absolutely for sure. But uh, they didn't really play as a team, I think. They didn't create. They didn't really create much against us uh, today as well. So let me know in the comments what you thought of that performance and how we're uh, progressing. Uh, so yeah, we're going to try and get uh, more episodes out, but I do appreciate the thumbs up on the video. Uh, as I said, I don't like to, I'm not going into do too deep with my details of um, what I'm going through at the moment, but I'm just progressing um, slowly, slowly, as I said. So uh, I said it in a, a video, like a few, yeah, a few videos ago. I remember saying it like uh, during, like ever since I made YouTube videos, there's not really been much that's held me back uh, from, you know, continuing to upload. So um, yeah, when it's something to that level, it's uh, yeah, we're just, uh, we're progressing and uh, still trying to upload and record a video on a day where, yeah, I feel I feel good today. I feel okay today um, and not like too tired or something like that and other contributing uh, factors. <laughs> but anyway, we'll leave it there for now. Hopefully you enjoyed the video today. And yeah, get in a comment. I would love to see your thoughts on how uh, we are progressing uh, currently with Bordeaux and uh, progressing into next season because, uh, yeah, transfers are huge and where we would like to uh, work on that and... Uh, I always love to plan. I do a lot of that uh, planning in your saves where, yeah, you're going to make your moves next. But uh, yeah, this is where I'm at right now. Um, Also, because we're at this point in like, I feel, yeah, that yes, it makes sense. They've kicked in. The leagues I wanted to remove, I'm like, hold up. Let me know if you can tell, like the clicking on the players and just general... You don't see processing because I edited it out, but the general navigation is generally a bit quicker, but I'm uh, just clicking things. Uh, but anyway, yeah, if you could feel that at all, uh, that was the case. And yeah, uh, it, that even makes me want to play more. Uh, like, yes, we're, we're going quickly. We can get through games quick and all that and yeah, processing. But anyway, if you notice that, 
um, yeah, kind of executed, getting like now we're only after this, we'd only take, you know, one of the biggest jobs because we, we already had the conversation about uh, we're in a division where if we become a great team here, uh, yeah, we can do well in Champions League. So I will leave it there, but that is definitely a good sign. And we're talking a lot about the save. We are so much into it. So I'm going to leave it there for now and I'll see you guys next time.